You've heard about the benefits of managed components on a centralized server and have begun to adopt this methodology. But now what? You might be thinking how to transfer all of those file-based libraries to one central server. You've got database libraries in San Jose headquarters, multiple integrated libraries at the Shenzhen facility, and a myriad of scattered individual symbol and footprint libraries from the summer interns in Hoboken. No worries. Migrating hundreds or thousands of file-based components from different library types can be managed using the Altium Designer Library Migrator. So let's have a look at the migration process and how to get started. With the increased adoption of design data management, the Library Migrator was developed to automate transferring components from existing Altium Designer file-based libraries to a central server such as A365. The Migrator supports database libraries, integrated libraries, and even works with separate symbol and footprint libraries. The objective of using the Library Migrator is to preserve your existing investment in part library development to generate server-managed components quickly, thus removing the need to recreate parts from scratch. To get started, Open Altium Designer and close any active design projects or libraries. Next, remove any libraries from the Components panel. Then, from the File menu, select the Library Migrator. The Library Migrator panel will appear and is ready to accept the library. At this point, you can specify any library type be it a database or integrated library, or even symbol and footprint libraries together. Please note that database or integrated libraries represent complete components and therefore are easier to migrate. When migrating symbol and footprint libraries together, you must ensure that the library migrator can find all required footprints of the symbols in a migrated footprint library. Otherwise, the results will not be component items. Next, click the Add Library button at the top left of the panel and select a library. I'll navigate to and set an example integrated library. The Library Migrator will analyze this library and populate the panel with the name, description, component type, target folder, symbol, footprint, and parametric information. It is important to note that the symbol holds the graphics and all parametric information unique to a component in integrated and separate symbol and footprint libraries. For example, in the case of resistor components, each component is represented by a uniquely named symbol, yet the graphics are identical. In managed components, however, parametric information unique to the component is held in the component item, not the symbol. The library migrator will detect if the same graphical symbol occurs more than once, and if so, renames that symbol as, quote, symbol, end quote. Thus, in managed components, the symbol name has no real significance. However, it may be desirable to edit such symbol item names post-migration. While this is not ideal, it is far better than ending up with hundreds of redundant symbols in the server. We're not quite ready to migrate just yet. The process typically takes a few iterations to correct some common warnings and errors. These migration checks are listed in the lower portion of the Properties panel. For example, we see checks for undefined component types, incorrect mapping of a part choice, duplicate components by part choice, data sheet not found if one is specified, invalid parameter values, 
and pin mapping issues. To perform these checks, I'll click the Validate button. At this point, it is common to see the component type not defined warning. Although the library migrator does an excellent job correctly inferring component types, sometimes you may need to specify the correct type in the validate stage. Here, I'm assigning this component to the connector component type. Although the manufacturer part number is mapped correctly, I can see the manufacturer parameter is not mapped in the properties panel. This is easy to fix. Next, we see a parameter value that cannot map to the correct unit in the server template. This error is because the fractional value of 1 slash 10 W must be expressed as 100 milliwatts due to the component template's unit formatting, if such formatting is used in the component template on the server. Now I see two new warnings indicating duplication of a part by manufacturing part number. However, upon closer inspection of the library, I can see the 330 ohm resistor has the exact same manufacturer part number as the 220 ohm resistor. Hmm, how did that ever happen? Specifying the correct manufacturer part number for the 330 ohm resistor in the original library will solve these errors. With all errors and warnings resolved, I can now click the Migrate button and see the components processing. Remember, you can expect to iterate multiple times in the validate stage to clear warnings and errors. Should you encounter many warnings and errors, no need to worry, as there are typically only a few common error conditions as the root cause. Now we see the components have all successfully transferred to the A365 server without issue. So let's have a look at them on my server. My original file-based library components are now managed on the A365 server and accessible in the components panel ready for placement. So don't worry if you have to migrate hundreds or thousands of file-based library components from different library types to the A365 server. The migration is manageable and automated using the Altium Designer Library Migrator.